for urban capacity building support will be provided to the states modernization of building bylaws town planning schemes transit oriented development will be implemented this will facilitate reforms for people to live and work closer to the mass transit systems the central government's financial support for mass transit projects and amrit scheme will be leveraged for formulation of action plans and their implementation for facilitating the tod and tps by the states for developing india specific india specific knowledge in urban planning and design and to deliver certified training in these areas up to five existing academic institutions in different regions will be designated as centers of excellence these centers will be provided endowment fund of 250 crore each in addition the aicte will take the lead to improve syllabi quality and access of urban planning courses in other institutions we will promote a shift to use of public transport in urban areas this will be complemented by clean tech and governance solutions special mobility zones with zero fossil fuel policy and ev vehicles battery swapping policy considering the constraint of space in urban areas for setting up charging stations at scale a battery swapping policy will be brought out and interoperability standards will be formulated the private sector will be encouraged to develop sustainable and innovative business models for battery or energy as a service this will improve efficiency in the ev ecosystem efficient use of land resources is a strong imperative states will be encouraged to adopt unique land parcel identification number to facilitate it based management of records the facility for transliteration of land records across any of the scheduled eight languages will also be rolled out the adoption of linkage with national generic document registration system ngdrs with the one nation one registration software will be promoted as as an option for uniform process of registration and anywhere registration of deeds and documents necessary amendments in the code ibc will be carried out to enhance the efficiency of the resolution process and facilitate cross border insolvency resolution accelerated corporate exit several it based systems have been established for accelerated registration of new companies now the center for processing accelerated corporate exit c pace will process reengineering will be established to facilitate and speed up the voluntary winding up of these companies from the currently required 2 years to less than 6 months government procurement government rules have recently been modernized for the needs of amritkal the new rules have benefited from the inputs from various stakeholders the modernized rules allow use of transparent quality criteria besides cost and evaluation evaluation of complex tenders provisions have been made for payment of 75% of running bills mandatorily within 10 days and for encouraging settlement of disputes through conciliation as a further step to enhance transparency and to reduce delays in payments a completely paperless end to end online e bill system will be launched for use by all central ministries for their procurements 
the system will enable the suppliers and contractors to submit online their digitally signed bills and claims and track their status from anywhere. To reduce indirect cost for suppliers and work contractors, the use of surety bonds as a substitute for bank guarantee will be made acceptable in government procurements. Business, as, business such as gold imports may also find this useful. IRDAI, Insurance Regulator, has given the framework for issue of surety bonds by insurance companies. AVGC Promotion Task Force. The animation, visual effects, gaming and comic, the AVGC sector, offers immense potential to employ youth. The, an AVGC Promotion Task Force with all stakeholders will be set up to recommend ways to realize this and build domestic capacity for serving our markets and the global demand. Telecom sector, telecommunications in general and 5G technology in particular can enable growth and offer job opportunities. Required spectrum auctions will be conducted in 2022 to facilitate rollout of 5G mobile services within 2022-23 by private telecom providers. A scheme for, a scheme for design-led manufacturing will be launched to build a strong ecosystem for 5G as part of the production-linked incentive scheme. To enable affordable broadband and mobile service proliferation in rural and remote areas, 5% of annual collections under the Universal Service Obligation Fund will be allocated. This will provide and this will promote R&D and commercialization of technologies and solutions. Our vision is that all villages and their residents should have the same access to e-services, communication facilities and digital resources as urban areas and their residents. The contracts for laying optical fiber in all villages including remote areas, will be awarded under the Bharat Net project through PPP in 22 and 23. Completion is expected in 2025. Measures will be taken to enable better and more efficient use of the optical fiber.